Good morning and a beautiful day to you. I hope the day is treating you well and you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me today as I take you around to explore the central part of Bratislava. And we're starting right in the center of the city, in the main square. Now Bratislava grew around this square when it was the main market in the area and has been a focal point for the city where monarchs came to greet the crowds and where public executions took place. I don't think they executed the monarchs here. I don't think that happened here. Anyway, um, nowadays there's neither monarchs nor executions here, I hope, anyway. Um, but it's a wonderful place to chill for a little bit, sit around, there's cafes around the side of the square to sit and enjoy life, get a good view of the old town hall that we're gonna move on to next. And you can sit by the Maximilian Fountain, which I'll show you in a second, or have a chat with a Napoleon soldier. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that this square is actually square? Because a lot of squares are just called a square, but this square is actually square shaped. Properly square shaped. The square is surrounded by beautiful buildings on all sides, but the most significant being the Old Town Hall and its tower. It's the oldest city hall in the country, dating back to the very start of Bratislava in the 13th century. There's now a museum inside, and you can go up the tower and have panoramic views of the square and the city. Let's wander the beautiful streets and quiet streets of Old Town to Rudney Square, where we will find St. Martin's Cathedral, Bratislava's biggest, finest and oldest cathedral. Built in the 12th century, it has seen the coronation of nearly 20 kings and queens and consorts. So, it's seen quite a bit. It's built into the city walls. The tower is part of, was part of the city defences. It's free to go in and enter and you can look up around inside. You can also go down into the crypts and the catacombs down below and see a couple of those. And of course, please remember, it is a place of worship, so be respectful when you go inside, dress appropriately, take your hat off if you're a man and be quiet.
and back outside onto the busy streets of Bratislava we're wandering through back through Old Town just a few minutes to As we make our way back to the old town, you'll come across this guy peeping out of a manhole. His name is Chumul, or the Watcher, and he's one of the statues that appeared around Bratislava shortly after independence. And there's a couple of theories as to what it's all about. One is that he's a communist era worker, and this is him on his typical working day. The other is that he's trying to get a glimpse up the lady's skirts as they come past. Anyway, the rumor is, if you rub his head while making a wish and never ever tell anybody, it's sure to come true. Havrais Dozlov Square. Sorry about the pronunciation. <laughs> Named after an important Slovak poet of the same name, who I won't say again to massacre his name, sorry. Uh, it's a lively garden right in the middle of town. It is really beautiful. It's got this avenue of trees down on one side, which I imagine in the summertime would look spectacular. And that'd uh, be great for sitting out in the summer. And at the end, you've got the Slovak National Theatre, which uh, was designed by a couple of Viennese architects, which if you remember a few videos ago, we were in, our, in Vienna, and you can see that Viennese influence. It's sort of a, a very unusual mix, this one. It's a Baroque neo-Renaissance with a splash of French style and design. Anyway, performances in the Opera House, you can see ballet and drama and opera. We're not going to see that today, we're staying outside and enjoying this beautiful atmosphere. Now it's winter, so not sitting around outside, although there's lots of cafes around the edge that we could sit inside and watch, but it's winter time, it's December, and I've got a Christmas market to look at. Michael's Gate. It's the last remaining part of the old city wall and defences and on the top of it it's got the Archangel Michael slaying a dragon, hence the name Michael's Gate, and it was built in the 14th century. The tower was then modified in 1758 to give it that unique sort of bulbous shape that it has on the top and there's a museum inside the tower, unfortunately not allowed to show you inside, you can't film that, but you are allowed to look around on the top when you get to the top You've got 360 degree panoramic views of Bratislava. And even on a day like this, which was beautiful this morning, has gone a bit overcast. It's not going to snow again this afternoon. It really feels cold. Um, you get beautiful views all the way around. There's Hrad Castle, there's the cathedral, there's the UFO bridge over there. Uh, well, let's go for a little spin and have a look before we go to our next place.
guns, I don't want to be locked out here. Oh, got to push the door. <laughs> Now it is time to go and check in with the president. The presidential palace, or Grazalukovic Palace. Well, it appears that the president is a little bit busy running a country to waste time with us, which I fully understand. Um, but this is officially or unofficially referred to locally as the Slovak White House i.e. the president's official residence of uh, Slovakia. Now you can't go inside, obviously, because that's where they're busy doing things like running the country, whatever that entails. Um, but you can enjoy the outside. There's some beautifully laid out French gardens in the back with lots of statues and things in. We'll go and see if we can have a look there, but weather's not being favorable to me today. It looks like we might get some more snow. It's getting dark, so it may not look that attractive, but we'll go and see. But in the front, um, is this beautiful fountain with a uh, peace world in the middle. Now the fountain's emptied out for winter to stop it freezing and damaging the, uh, the actual fountain. Um, but during the rest of the year, and I can see the little puddles of water freezing over, it must be cold. Um, but the rest of the year this has got beautiful water and a fountain display. It's a symbol of world peace. And the idea is that uh, the world should be free of tyranny and open for peace and freedom for everybody. I'm gonna have the fountain now. Oh. Oh. Now, not many churches are this colour. Not many buildings are this colour. This is the Church of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. And it's quite a modern building, especially by comparison to the other buildings around. It's an Art Nouveau style building, uh, designed merely last century. And the interior and the exterior are all, is all painted in shades of blue, making it very, very unique. Even the roof has blue ceramic tiles on it. It is quite amazing. Unfortunately, it's closed at the moment, so I can't show you the interior. But I do wonder, was it the architect or the church that selected this color, and why? Now, Time to stretch our legs a little bit, get a bit of a walk in, 15 minutes or so, as we cut across the old town through the inner city from one side to the other, and then take a climb up to one of the high points of the city. Now every capital city in Europe has a castle, and here is no exception. Welcome 
to Bratislava Castle, I think it's called Rad Castle. Sitting on the hill overlooking the city, it dominates the skyline. And it's been a defensive position since the beginning of the last millennia, when it started as a few wooden stakes driven into the ground to defend the hill, to what it is today with seven metre thick stone battlements. It's quite incredible. It was originally built and styled as a Gothic style castle, then it was converted to a Renaissance, then Baroque, and now as it stands today, I think the poor place must have a bit of an identity crisis. But it's nice, it's a very short walk up the hill to the um, to the to the castle. There's beautiful views over the river. Inside, you have to pay to go inside. It's free to come and sit on the outside and enjoy the gardens and the view, but you pay to go inside. And to be honest, there's not a great deal in there. Mostly empty rooms, a few unusual tapest British English tapestries that were discovered hidden inside the walls when they were doing some renovations, but not a great deal else. So come up, enjoy the atmosphere here. Just imagine the history that's been happened in this place and enjoy the views over the river. So, down the hill from the castle, cut through the town, there's a few shops here, but we are off to see a pyramid. And an upside down pyramid at that. This is the home, this is the Slovak radio building. Construction started in the 60s at a time when socialism and realism were in vogue. But it was only finished in the early 80s and I think began broadcasting in a radio station in about 84. Now it is a very unique and unusual building but inside there is a huge concert hall with some of the best acoustics in the country. There's also the largest organ in, in Central Europe in there and there's obviously recording studios and of course the radio stations. So I must admit I didn't expect to see a pyramid in Slovakia or in Europe but here we are and now for a walk from one unusual building to another unusual building in Bratislava <laughs> Well, they really have thought of everything here. They've even put in a parking for UFOs and a parking station. <laughs> this is an asymmetrical cable stayed single pylon bridge across the Danube in Bratislava. Uh, the main old town is over that side and you can see this from any high point in the town. It's quite an unusual, a unique bit of engineering. Um, it's only got supports on one end and at the top is an observation deck where you can go up, which looks like a UFO, hence the nickname the UFO Bridge. Um, not that I know what a UFO looks like, but apparently that, that's what it looks like. Um, you can go up in the lift, it co you pay a fee to go up. There's a viewpoint right at the top, the observation deck, which is outside, which is fantastic. has beautiful 360 degree views right over the city. But bear in mind in the autumn and winter months, it gets cold, cold up there. It's, it's very, very windy. So do bear that in mind and dress appropriately. Just below the outside observation deck, there is an inside 360 degree bar, cafe, restaurant, where you can get a coffee and admire the view through these beautiful panoramic windows with a hot drink in a nice warm environment. So, if you're coming in UFO, this is where you park it.
traveling back from the 70s where that amazing uh, UFO structure was built we're now zooming all the way into the future and we're going to go and see the location where the first skyscraper in Slovakia is going to be built Eurovia the city of the future is the plan for this place. It's an ambitious development alongside the Danube to become Bratislava's modern quarter. Eurovia aims to become the city's new social and cultural centre and there's even plans for Bratislava's first skyscraper to be built right here. But the main thing we're going to experience is the shopping centre. Um, now there is there's a lot of shops here, uh, mostly fashion and clothing shops and beauty, there is some sports shops, uh, the usual things you'll find in the mall as well as lots of wonderful places to eat. Now on one side there is views over the Danube River and outside on that side there is a promenade where you can walk when the weather's a little more favourable and it's light. It's set out in two halls with a square in the middle where various events and, and things take place. At the moment the feature place is a giant reindeer which is kind of nice. Um, but we're going to enjoy a nice cup of coffee and something to eat. That's it for Bratislava. Uh, thank you for joining me on our trip. I hope you've enjoyed our little uh, tour at a few of the things there is to see around this beautiful city. If there's other things that people really should see when they come here that I haven't mentioned, please drop them in the comments below so future visitors to this beautiful city, Slovakia's capital Bratislava, don't miss them. <laughs>